Hello, my dear children. Today we are going to read science first block. Okay, and the chapter's name is sources of food. Okay, so it is block one sources of food. Okay. So in lesson one, okay, we are basically going to learn about food from plant parts. Okay, that means as you know, uh, we eat so many plants. Okay, and uh, not every part of a plant is consumable, isn't it? So, uh, which are the parts which we actually consume? That are the things which we are going to discuss in this lesson. Okay. So let me read it out and as I read, I will be also explaining you, okay. So we know that all plants, uh, I mean, we know that all living things need food to live, okay. Plants make their own food while animals depend on plants directly or indirectly for food, okay. Yes, obviously children, like every organisms in this world, actually need food to survive isn't it without food they cannot survive okay like us if we don't eat we will die within one week okay if we don't eat food we might die isn't it and uh, yes they are also saying that uh, plants make their own food obviously plant do not need any uh, help from others okay it can make their own food okay but we animals okay humans are also animals okay so we need food okay from others okay we depend on others basically we depend on plants okay different animals have different eating habits yes obviously uh, like if you compare a horse with a tiger okay their eating habits are never same okay uh, horse will be eating grass and other parts of the plants isn't it or different types of plants but a tiger might always eat will always not might will always eat flesh isn't it so human beings also eat different kinds of food yes we as a human we eat various types of food isn't it some uh, our food comprises flesh it also comprises with plants okay and it also comprises fruits that means we eat mixture of things in our food okay so we derive nutrition from so many other things okay the two main sources of food for us are plants and animals yes we basically depend on plants and animals for our food okay uh, people in different regions eat different kinds of food yes all over the world okay like if you uh, compare people living in european countries their eating habit will be totally different from our eating habits okay then uh, all food items are made up of ingredients yes obviously like if you compare rice with uh, any um, protein sources like you can say um, meat okay their components or whatever they are made up of okay chemically they are actually different so the ingredients which they are made up of are totally different okay so this ingredients come from plants or animals yes the ingredients which we derive from uh, in our food actually comes from your plants or animals okay around 2000 varieties of plants are grown all over the world especially for food yes that means there is around 2000 varieties okay of food all over the world which actually we can consume okay then we get fruits, vegetables, pulses, cereals, spices, vegetable oil and beverages from plants. Yes. Now, uh, giving example, fruits like apple, oranges, pineapple, banana. These are the fruits which we consume. Okay. And there are so many other fruits like a dragon fruit, kiwi. Okay. There are so many fruits. Even vegetables. There are so many vegetables. Uh, if you have doubt, pulses means all kind of uh, your dal and all okay uh, in hindi we will call pulses as dal okay so 
pulses usually uh, comprises all kinds of um, dals, okay, and uh, cereals means all kind of grains actually, okay, like wheat, paddy, paddy is actually rice, okay, then um, jowar, bajra, millet, there are so many types of cereals, okay, then uh, spices as you already know like coriander, okay, thyme, okay, there are so many types of spice, okay, um, then vegetable oils, okay, sunflower oil, okay, then you can say rice bran oil there are so many vegetable oils okay and beverages like coffee tea and in older days in egyptian countries okay like uh, their king used to their kings used to uh, drink chocolate as their beverages okay so beverages can be of so many type organic tea okay green tea you might know okay these are all your beverages which we get from plants okay now uh, humans eat different parts of plants okay yes obviously okay we human as a human okay we eat so many parts of plants okay some examples of plant parts that we eat are summarized in the table so uh, if you turn to page number one okay and if you look over here okay uh, well if you look over here children so this is the table okay in this table, if you see, uh, roots, okay, are usually uh, a plant of plant, a part of plants which is coming under roots is your carrots and turnip. So carrots and turnip are usually roots which we actually consume in our day-to-day uh, -day life, okay. And if you see in this part, okay, leaves, uh, like we consume even leaves, okay. And leaves are usually coriander and spinach, okay, or teas, okay. Uh, and flowers is your cauliflower and broccoli. Seeds is rice, maize, coffee, and cumin. Okay, cumin in Hindi is jeera. Okay, children, if you don't know what is cumin is, okay. And then uh, stems is your sugarcane, potato, and ginger. Okay, then fruits is your mango b b apple and banana so these are the things which we usually consume from plants okay so uh, this much is in your lesson one okay so uh, let us move to our next lesson which is uh, food from animals that means uh, since we discussed before that uh, not only from plants we consume our food okay we also consume food from our animals also okay so let us read this lesson two now okay so besides plants okay we also get food from animals okay we get uh, mainly four food items from animals okay which is your meat honey eggs and your milk yes obviously if you if you see the figure this is milk this is egg this is meat and honey. I think so you have all seen but still uh, I am uh, showing you in the figure okay uh, which is given in your book okay. Then uh, plant and some animals that give us meat are chicken, goat and fish obviously okay. The, these are the three types of uh, domestic animals which we rear for uh, fetching meat okay. Then some animals that give us um milk uh, goat cow buffalo isn't it so these are all animals which from whom we actually can uh, get milk okay some birds that give us eggs are chicken and ducks okay so uh, in some places in some regions of the world uh, there are ostrich eggs also which is used okay and if you have heard about a bird known as emu or not okay emu is also a bird which lays egg and it is also used to their eggs are also used to consume okay we humans they eat it okay then honey is made by honey bees okay as you already know okay honey bees make honey okay so they are the only insects or animals which actually can produce honey okay so <clears throat> bees collect nectar from flowers 
using their long tongues like straw to suck out the nectar okay now that means uh, what bees usually have is they have a very long tail okay just imagine if i'm a bee then i will have a long nectar like this okay so what i will do is i will go into the flower okay and i will suck all the sweet juices from the flower okay like the straw okay like usually what we do when we go to any restaurant and all and we order coke what do we do we put straw into the glass and we suck out all the sweet uh, or we i mean you can say we suck out all the coke from the glass isn't it it's the same way even a bee does okay they suck their straw like st uh to the same um, beak into the uh, flower and they suck out the nectar and nectar is the sweet juices which is present in any flower okay so they convert this nectar into honey okay which is then stored in their hives okay that means like we live in house okay and they live in hives okay and maybe you have seen a beehive okay it's usually round in structure blackish in color and they have hexagonal boxes in it like this okay they have hexagonal boxes like this okay and in this boxes they make in this kind of boxes they they make their chamber they lay their lar uh, larvas or you can say their babies okay egg from they they, they lay egg over there and from their uh, larvas develop okay and not only larvas develop over there they also store honey in this small small chambers which is known as honeycomb structure this is honeycomb structure mm -hmm. and this whole structure where they live is actually known as uh, beehive okay children then honey is a rich source of sugar minerals and water so that's the reason why it's very very healthy for us okay then uh, milk is used to make many uh, now they are talking about milk okay uh, milk is used to make many milk or dairy products such as cheese ice cream curd paneer okay now paneer in english is called cottage cheese okay if if you want to know what paneer is known as in hindi in english okay so sweets and chocolates okay milk is known as a complete food as it has all the essential nutrients that re, uh, humans require such as protein sugar starch fats vitamins and uh, actually it's vitamins and minerals okay so children uh, mil milk usually have all kind of essential nutrients which is very very important for us okay which i have already mentioned while reading which is your sugar protein starch fats vitamins and minerals okay so these are the things which is present in milk okay and meat and eggs are very rich sources of protein okay so you have maybe someone in your family who do uh, bodybuilding okay or they have just recently joined gym okay you might see them always consuming things which is having protein like egg milk okay so why do we need protein is for building ourselves okay protein is also called the building nutrients okay and carbohydrate which is present in all kind of um, your cereals okay you can say like rice wheat okay so this actually gives us energy fats gives stores like fat which is stored in our body can be used for further uh, like uh, like when we are not having any food fat burns in our body and we get energy okay so this all nutrients which is in our body is very very essential uh, which is present in food is very very essential for our body okay children so today we are going to discuss only the lesson one and lesson two okay so we will be uh, covering lesson three and lesson four in our upcoming classes okay so if you have any doubt regarding whatever i have discussed today you can uh, send me the questions in the whatsapp group okay and you can also uh, what they say make this table okay which is in page number one okay in your copy okay if you can see 
this is the table which you are supposed to make before making this table what i want you to do is write block number one chapter name and today's date in your school copy which should be interleave copy as i have already mentioned to you before okay and after making this uh, table okay i also want you to uh, draw this table okay and uh, the, the, the table which is in page number two okay this table if you can see okay and uh, you have to try to solve this question number one okay and two as well okay so you have to do class activity one and two okay in uh, page number two and you have to show me class activity one and two as well as the diagram just today okay and that will be your classwork and you have to show me this before it is 4 pm in the evening okay children so we close for this much today so uh, if you have any doubts you can ask me via your whatsapp group thank you